Hi folks, Rosemary here with Travel with Ro. I am at the Straz Center today. This big old building behind me. It's one of the largest performing arts centers in the country. It's over 300,000 square feet. Hosts more than 1,500 events every season. They've got a bunch coming up like Annie, Beetlejuice, uh, The Book of Mormon, Moulin Rouge, Clue, a whole bunch of shows coming out. We are here today to see Wicked. I am super excited. I've never actually seen it. So, um, and neither have my kids. And so I haven't been to the Strauss in a while. It's in Tampa. It's on like nine acres or something ridiculous like that, right along Tampa's uh, famous river walk. Riverwalk just goes on and on along the river and it's gorgeous and I haven't been here in a while. See, normally I park over in the Poe Garage and there used to be a pedestrian bridge that would take you right over here to the Stras, past the library, and um, that's not here anymore. <laughs> they uh, sold off some land over there. There's condos going up where the pedestrian bridge used to be, which is back right over there. And um, so we did have to walk across the street, but it's not very far. It's like almost across the street. And I'll show you um, how the walk was from the Poe Garage. There are a couple of garages on the other side and some street parking as well. And um, there's even valet out front, but you have to reserve that ahead of time. I was gonna do that because they have handicap parking up there and they were all, all reserved. So I was like, oops, okay, next time. I parked in the handicap, at least in the garage. So it wasn't, it wasn't a very long walk for me. Thank goodness. Um, but so the Morsani, the Carl Morsani Hall is where we're gonna be seeing Wicked. It's one of their like really big theaters. There's also a whole conservatory of art classes over there and everything. But I just wanna give you guys a quick little preview of like what the Strauss looks like, where it is, what's around it. Um, like normally I'd be sitting in front of the fountain because I love the fountain. It's not on right now. But, um, and some of the merch and stuff, obviously I can't film the show itself. You know that, but um, this way, anybody who's thinking about coming out here to the Strauss, you guys can get a sneak peek. Come with us. kind of a hot mess. That's a lot different than having that nice over the road walkway. There's a lot of construction going on. Here's March and April. Those water bottles are cute. Look at that. For the first time, I feel wicked. I love all these shirts and coffee mugs. Oh, and there's snow globes. The snow globes are cool. So, this fountain here has been on every other time I've been here. It's one of my favorite, uh, like, photo spots over at the Stras. So I was like, oh, it's all set to take a pretty picture out here. I think everything is definitely a little hectic because of this uh, construction back there. That building wasn't here the last time I was here, but it has been a while. Things change, right? But we are right on the river here. You can see people out jogging, walking. It is very cool. Riverwalk stretches quite a ways in both directions. And uh, way over there, you can see the University of Tampa. It's very pretty today.
So behind me here is Maestro's on the River. It's one of the restaurants here. Like there's a coffee shop up front. There's a fancier restaurant inside with really upscale food. Um, but I like sitting out here by the water, under the trees. <laughs> it's a nice, pretty blue day, a little bit of a breeze. And um, they have like sandwiches, paninis and burgers and stuff like that. So we're gonna get some food and enjoy some time out here before we head inside. So I ordered the Ebor panini, of course, because it's got, uh, it's essentially a Cuban, except on a panini bread. So it's got pork, ham, salami, some cheese, and just good stuff. So we got a couple of these to share. This is half of it. We got like a whole one here. And it comes with chips and stuff like that. So the sandwiches here are good. Like I said, it's, it's a gorgeous view. Look at this behind me. Mm. And they're fresh made, they're making them back there. Oh my gosh, you guys. The ingredients in here are quality. But this is good stuff. So this is my recommendation, but I got all kinds of other stuff to eat too. And it's really good, plus a full bar. So you can get any drinks you want. <laughs> a train a teeny tiny train right through town all right and it's open now look at this place it's busy candy cart Keeps going. Three, we're going all the way to one, baby. <sighs> oh my gosh, right here. <sighs> Excuse us, thank you. We are like right up close. Oh my gosh, how many seats is this? I don't think I've ever actually sat this close before. Trying to get some light. There's the dragon. Look at how big this place is. So essentially we're in Orchestra One, so right up front, and I'm really excited. Like I said, I can't film during, but um, just to show you guys, I wanted you to see like, like, look at that dragon. So I am just excited to be up here, and I wanted to give you guys an idea of what what the hall looks like. And you can see like, oh, there's so many people here wearing green, and it looks amazing. I actually purposely didn't re-dye my hair because the the blue green is fading out. It's kind of green, right? Kind of, a little bit. A little bit in the mood for Wicked, right? I'm excited. Is too large. If we all felt comfortable giving just three 
dollars tonight. And we can raise over six thousand dollars at this performance alone. And if everyone here just felt comfortable giving six thousand dollars, <laughs> last but certainly not least, because no fundraiser is complete without a little incentive. For a donation of one hundred and fifty dollars, you can take home this limited edition Wicked poster that is hand signed by the entire cast in front of you. Thanks for coming along with me today, guys. If you liked our tour, please like and subscribe. Say goodnight. Did you enjoy Wicked? Yes. It was amazing. It is so late, but it's so worth it. Wicked was so much fun, you guys. It was great. Say goodnight. Bye. Good night.